Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a video that's actually been highly, highly requested on my channel. Ever since all of these companies have been coming out with these body glow products, these glow oils, these shimmer body sprays, I've been getting so many questions to do a whole video on all of them, like which one's my favorite, which ones do I recommend. And I was always meaning to do it, but I've just kind of been pushing it off. And then I got a PR package in the mail and it was from a brand called Soul Body. And when I opened the box, I was like, Soul Body, who are you and why do you have my address? And when I fully opened the box and I read the card, Soul Body is ColourPop's new sister brand. Apparently, like the true Aries that the owner of ColourPop is. Hi Laura, how are you? I love you. We can't stop at makeup and skincare. No. We are tackling body as well. Um, the people at ColourPop are all geniuses. I'm convinced. They're all geniuses. So when I got this package in the mail with these four amazing, delicious looking body shimmers, these are shimmering dry oils by the way, when I saw that they came out with four of these, a brush, and this whole new freaking brand, I was like, okay, it's time. It's time to do that video. So that is what we are doing in today's video. I'm gonna show you swatches of all four of the new Soul Body Shimmering Dry Oils because once this was announced, oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure they launched today. When they announced it on their Instagram, I think like two days ago, people have been DMing me nonstop to review this. So not only am I gonna be talking to you about these, but I figured I would compare them to several other Body Glow products I have and to tell you the difference and just talk about which ones I prefer. Just do a whole Body Glow video in general. So the new Soul Body Shimmering Dry Oils look like this. They come in this packaging. It is really, really beautiful. The only thing I don't love is that it's glass, but only because I drop and break everything. But most of them are glass. Like the Fenty Beauty one is glass, the Anastasia. The fancy ones are, are glass. The Patrick Ta, you know, it's super fancy. But the Sol de Janeiro ones are not glass, they're plastic, so are the Huda Beauty ones. And I kind of like that. I mean, it's not as fancy, but I can't break those, so. I guess it depends on you. If you're a Virgo, you probably have no problem with the glass. It does make it prettier though. I, I mean, I will say the glass is nice. It's nice. It is like a new sister brand to ColourPop, but I believe that you will only be able to get this brand on the ColourPop website, which I actually like. They have four different shades, platinum, soft gold, warm gold, and bronze. I will say I have been using this product for like five days in a row now. I've been using it every single day. I actually used it in a photo shoot yesterday and I even used it all over Emilia's body in the same photo shoot and this is how much I've used. I've only been using warm gold, like strictly warm gold and I honestly haven't used that much and I have been pumping this like crazy. How much is in this? Let's see, this is the cute, super cute packaging by the way. You get three fluid ounces in this guy and when you think about that and you compare it to a lot of these other ones, that's amazing for the price. These are only $15 each and like I said, when you think about the prices of all the other ones, that's amazing. <laughs> By the way, I know I recently did a video about the Becca Champagne Pop Stick Highlighter Glow thing. I love that and I can't find it anywhere. You know what I think happens to me? I think I lend my things to people and then I forget that I lend them. So then I can't keep track of them and then I never see them again. I think that's what happened. Pretty sure I lent my champagne pop body stick dog lipstick thing to somebody because I cannot find that anywhere. I checked all my beach bags. I don't know what the deal is and I love that and I really wanted to show you guys swatches of that under the sun but I don't have that today. Of course, but I also use that one and I just wanted to compare all the ones I have in front of me to the price and the size of these. And I will get into the size comparison and the price and all of that when I get into the swatches. But like I said, after doing a bunch of research and looking through all of my products, you get a lot of product for the money. It's unreal. I have just completely fallen in love. I wore this to an Alamad event the other day and then yesterday when I was at my shoot, I had showed Gabby, I was like, oh look, a ColourPop's new sister brand, blah, blah. I was like putting it on her and she like fell in love with it. She was like, I need to buy it. It's so good. It's so sparkly in the sun. We were at the beach and it was just so amazing. I guess because I'm so used to all the other products and like the price and stuff, I thought that maybe this wasn't gonna be as sparkly as my other ones, but no, no, no. This is beautiful. It's super sparkly. Some are sparklier than others but these are so 
good like I really really like these there is only two things I do not like about this product besides the glass like I was just joking about the glass thing one of the things is that I don't really love the pump it's not a deal breaker for me I'll still use it but I don't like that it shoots out like like this I personally wish it was oh, you know what let me just put it on for you guys I personally wish it was a spray I don't like that it's in a like a dropper kind of spray like that I prefer a spray like the Anastasia one or the Patrick Ta one even though the Patrick Ta nozzle gets stuck on me a lot and maybe that's why they didn't do that but I definitely prefer a spray I'm just gonna apply some more I love warm gold oh by the way they also came out with a brush hello I can't believe I forgot to mention that this is the Soul Body Brush, and I believe it's only $12. And they have a bunch of these types of brushes. I believe Patrick Ta has one. I have the Fenty Beauty one, which I'm not going to lie, I do prefer the Fenty one over the Soul one, only because it's like round at the bottom and it's like easier to cup. <laughs> and I like that it's angled and has like that slant. I don't know, I like this one a little bit more, but for the price, I mean, this one does the same thing. But it's nice so that you don't have to get the palms of your hand like covered in glitter. It's hard to see in this lighting, but I will take you outside in a second. But it's so pretty, it's so reflective, and it still gives you that like wet look on the skin without being too greasy. It is a dry oil, very similar to the Anastasia one. It doesn't feel greasy, it doesn't feel sticky at all. And honestly, in like an hour, you don't feel it on your skin at all. It completely goes away. But it's not drying. I really, really, really like the feeling of it. The other thing that I don't like um, there was two. The other thing I don't like is that it doesn't last as long as like my Fenty Beauty one. This one I will apply it and at the end of the night I still see it like really intense on my body. I guess because it's more of a cream, it has like that stickier, thicker consistency. It's a little bit tackier on the skin. So it grips onto the skin and it lasts longer. This one doesn't last as long, but it's so comfortable you barely feel it on the skin. So I guess it's like, what do you prefer? I would say those honestly are the only two things I don't like. I don't love this cap either, by the way, it breaks really easily. I mean, I did drop it yesterday, so that was me, but I'm just being picky. Oh, that's another thing I don't like. I don't like that you can't lock it. Like, I wish you could turn this and lock it like the Sol de Janeiro ones. Like, when you're not pumping it, you can just turn it to the side and it locks. So you can't like press down and have it get everywhere. The Sol ones don't have that, but I mean, if you keep the top on, you should be fine. This smells incredible though. I will say this is the best thing about this product. It smells like heaven. You know what this smells like? This smells exactly like Oahu Coconut Sunset from Bath & Body Works. It used to be like a body spray and then they came out with a candle and it was like a whole collection and I was obsessed with it years ago when I was living in Key West. This smells identical to that. And if you've never smelled that, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, it just smells like coconut, vanilla, sunscreen, beach paradise. It smells like a freaking beach paradise, okay? They smell almost as good as the Glow Oils from Sol de Janeiro. I feel like these smell the best, but this is definitely in second place. I feel like all of these smell really good except for that Becca one. Like, what was that about? I'm actually gonna apply a little bit of soft gold on this arm so you can see the difference like here in the light. My two favorites are definitely soft gold and warm gold. Soft gold is so freaking intense though. It's extremely reflective. So is platinum though. This one is intense as hell as well. <laughs> but soft gold is just like ultra metallic looking. It's crazy. Warm gold though, this one has the most sparkle in my opinion. Like it's the one that looks the sparkliest on your skin. I don't know if it's because the glitter in this is bigger. I actually, you know what? I think that's, exact, that's exactly what it is. I think the sparkle in warm gold is bigger, but soft gold is so intense too, let me show you. You wanna make sure you're really shaking it before you apply it. But I don't know if you can even tell on camera, probably not. So I'm on my chest, like the leftover residue on the chest. Anyway guys, I feel like there's not much else I can say about these Soul Body Shimmering Dry Oils. I just wanted to give you my thoughts and my review. A lot of you guys tell me that I'm your go-to ColourPop girl. So I feel like when they launch a brand new product, like a brand new type of product, because they launch 
new products every day, but I mean like a new type of product. I feel the need to sit down and share it with you guys and give you my thoughts. I honestly do recommend it. I think it's great for the summer. I think it competes with a lot of these higher end brands. Now to compare them to the other body products I have at home, I feel like they are very similar to the Patrick Ta body oils and the Anastasia Shimmering body oil. It has a very similar consistency, only I feel like the Patrick Ta ones are a little bit more wet on the skin like you can feel them a little more they are a little bit more hydrating these smell amazing they're beautiful on the skin and i will continue to use them i love them i just think after trying the sole ones you can get a very similar effect with those you also do get a little bit more product with the patrick ta one it is 3.4 fluid ounces but it does retail for 52 dollars so that's expensive oh, i mean compared to the sole ones that's expensive so you get a little more but you pay a lot more the Anastasia Shimmer Body Oil is one that I've recently raved about in the past. I love how easy this one is. It's like the most simplest packaging ever. I actually do like that this is small. I know you get a lot less product in this, but I love that it's just so easy to throw in your purse or in your beach bag. I love the spray on this. You can just spray it directly on the skin and it's not dripping anywhere. And I absolutely love the shimmer in this. It's very similar to the Sol one and the Patrick one, but I feel like it has larger glitter particles in this. And I don't know, there's something about the ABH one that just sparkles differently in the sun. I don't know if I'm crazy, but it's just truly stunning on the skin. It's a little bit more scattered than the Soul one. I feel like the Soul one is super intense and it has a lot more shimmer, but I love the sparkliness and the fineness of the ABH one. It is really good. And it is $38, so a lot cheaper than the Patrick one, but you do only get 1.5 fluid ounces in this one, so not that much product. Now these other ones, I feel like they have a different consistency and they're kind of like a different formula altogether. The Fenty Beauty Body Lavas are kind of like a combination of both. Like if the ABH type of formula and the Sol de Janeiro type of formula got together and had a baby, it would create this type of formula, I think, I feel. Because this has the intense sparkle and glitter that these do, but it has that thick consistency and the sheeny finish like the Sol de Janeiro ones do as well. It has the sheeniness, the oiliness, the glow, but it also has the sparkle. I personally love this, specifically Trophy Wife. I don't love the other shades. This one is my favorite and I think it's the most flattering. I think if you're gonna pick up one of the three, pick up this one no matter what skin tone you have. It is absolutely gorgeous. It looks like liquid gold in the bottle but on the skin it just sparkles so beautifully and it's also very hydrating as well I personally find this one to be the most long wearing out of all of them it just stays on my body forever but I just love the look it gives my skin even though this one is sticky and I guess that's why it lasts so long but if you're not into that stickiness on the skin you will not like this because I personally feel this on my body all day <laughs> this one is very very pricey i think it's the most expensive one here but i mean it's also the most beautiful one here like physically if we're talking looks but this is 59 dollars, so that's expensive it also comes with three fluid ounces just like the sol ones the sol de janeiro glow oils also come in four colors and this one truly is beautiful but it's one of those that you do feel on the skin it has a little bit of a greasy consistency and you feel a little oily when you're wearing it and it's definitely one of those that you cannot wear with your hair down because it will get your hair like all wet and greasy but the shine that it gives your body is just so incredible and so unreal that it's 100% worth it. In these swatches, I only swatched Rio Sunset because I was honestly cooking underneath that sun. And if I sat here and I swatched every single color of all of the products, I would have fainted out there. So I just did Rio Sunset so you can see it on my skin. It has this golden glow to it that just looks like you're naturally glowy and golden and sweaty. It is beautiful because it doesn't really have a sparkle to it. So it almost looks natural and sweaty-like, but in the best, most magical way possible. <laughs> it really is a beautiful oil, but remember, if you're not into that consistency and that feeling, you won't like it, but for the beach, it is incredible. And I love this shade Master Flash. It's so unique. It has like blue sparkle instead of your typical gold or bronze. It's really, really beautiful. And these just look 
gorgeous in the sun. This one in the shade Goldie Rocks is actually very, very similar to Platinum. Goldie Rocks and Master Flash are actually pretty glittery now that I'm looking at them. Rio Sunset and Copacabana Bronze are more of a sheen, more of that metallic glow. The others have a little bit of sparkle in them, but they're all gorgeous. These are $35 each, by the way, and you get 2.5 fluid ounces. Anyway, last but not least, we have the Huda Beauty ones. This one is like the controversial body shimmer. It's called the Nymph Body Highlighter. The formula on this one is so different. It's kind of bizarre, and I feel like that's why a lot of people hate this one, but I surprisingly do not hate it. I mean, it's confusing, and I feel like I have to work with it, but I don't hate it. Before I get into the swatches, I just want to mention these are $49 each, so that's expensive, and you also get $1.84. And you also only get 1.85 fluid ounces, so not that much. But the Huda Beauty ones are pretty much cream highlights that have no type of like oil to them. These are very, very, very dry. And I feel like that is what turns people off about this product. That's why people walk away from it. Because when you initially apply it on your skin, especially under the sun, I mean, you will, you will get blown away. Even Danny, when he was recording it, was like, wow, that one is amazing. That one is so intense. And it is, it's so reflective and so metallic. The only problem with this one is, it is so drying that if you are even a little bit dry on your skin, it will 100% emphasize your dry skin. It's not like these other glow oils that will give you that sparkle and that shine mixed in with like that wet, dewy, sweaty look. No, 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 This is only gonna give you like a metallic shine. It's not gonna give you a hydrating look at all. If you're not really even and really careful, you will have a splotchy mess. And if you let it dry too long in one area without blending it out, it will stay in that area. <laughs> it is pretty difficult to blend. You have to blend it immediately right away. And once you do that, I think the look is so intense that it's worth playing around with it. I feel like mixing this in with other products is the way to go. And I know that seems excessive and over the top, but I paid for these. So I might as well find a way to use them. So I'll just take something like a body butter, like any body Body cream just mix in a little bit of this and mix it together and then you get a more hydrating effect but you do have to be careful and mix it in properly because this is so thick and pigmented you want to make sure you're blending it really really well it's not my first choice by any means I actually think I prefer all of these other ones more than this one but it is the one that looks the most intense on the skin so if you're looking for that ultra metallic look you don't care about that the glow, you just wanna look like beaming, then that's the way to go. But anyway guys, those are the body oils I currently have in my collection and I've just really been enjoying them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope if you were looking for reviews on these guys, it helped you out. And I hope if you were looking to compare some of these other brands, this video helped you out as well, I don't know. But anyway guys, leave me a comment down below letting me know what you wanna see from me next. Request videos in the comments and then hopefully I will get to your videos soon. But yeah guys, that completes this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Let me see the product. All right. Good. See it good? Yep. Ooh, sexy mama. Rawr. What'd you say? Rawr.